The Edelchrome controller comes in this box. It has a display at the top. Under the display, the first section is menu navigation and the select button. The second section is key pose buttons. The third section is power on off and the menu button. The Edelchrome controller works with two AAA batteries. You can find the battery holder at the back side of the controller. To put the batteries in, pull the battery cover with your fingertip from the pull sign. Insert the batteries in the right direction as shown in the battery holder. After installing the batteries, it opens instantly. To power on or off the controller, hold the on-off button down for a second. You'll see the connection page first. There are two connection types. Use the up and down buttons to choose an option. With the pair and connect option, you'll see the active devices list. To pair the devices, mark the devices you want to pair by tapping the select button. Then, tap the right navigation button to go to the control screen. In the Join a Paired Group screen, the master device of the paired group shows up on the list. To join a paired group, tap the right navigation button to go to the control screen of that paired group. While pairing, please make sure that you are standing close to the devices. After pairing, you can move further away from the device. Standard operation range is wider than pairing range. The control screen consists of several screens. You can switch axis selection by tapping the select button. The battery level of controller and signal strength are shown at the top. On the axis control screens, you can adjust pan and tilt, slide, swing, and focus movements by using the navigation buttons. By tapping the select button, you can also reach the speed and acceleration control screen. You can adjust speed and acceleration by using navigation buttons. On the axis control screens, three key pose slots are shown for information. After positioning your device, hold any button for one second to save the current pose. Once you've saved any key pose, it appears like so. Tap once to go to your pose. Tap to both pose buttons at the same time to loop between these poses. If you hold again for one second on active key pose, it'll overwrite the old pose and will save the new one. When devices are moving, the information screen appears as shown. You can go to the menu by tapping the menu button on any screen. If you are connected to any device, the advanced features will appear. In that menu, you'll find the time lapse option. To use this option, at least two key post slots must be filled. By using the navigation buttons, choose your planned duration, camera's shutter speed, interval, starting key pose, final key pose, and hold the select button to proceed. From now on, you can follow your progress on this screen. If you want to abort the operation, press and hold the select button. For your information, when you change the values on the interval section, frame count is calculated and shown at the bottom. And starting and final key poses can't be the same key pose. You'll find the switch setup option from the menu. If you have several setups, you can go back to the connection page to control them. In the settings and info menu, you'll find battery status, auto power off, auto power save, helper texts, firmware version, and serial number. Battery status will show you the battery status of the controller and the connected devices. Auto power off means after the chosen duration, the controller will shut down itself. Auto power save means after the chosen duration, you'll have to wake the controller by tapping any button. With these options, you can maximize your battery life. Helper text will be useful if you're using the Edelchrome controller for the first time. You can also check firmware versions of the devices and the serial number of the controller from here. If you would like to check whether there is a firmware update available for the controller or not, you can put the controller into the firmware update mode. Please make sure that you are not connected to any device and go to the menu page and select Firmware Update option. After you put the controller in the firmware update mode, you can connect from the Edelkrone app and follow these steps. If you connect to your device during a mode where you cannot control your setup with the Edelkrone controller, you will see the following warning. Please don't hesitate to contact us if you have any questions.